All right, it's uh, another day with Frog Lady in her basement. <laughs> if you're here with us, thank you. And I would also like to thank these very generous donors. I'm taking a shout out to these people here who have donated money to keep my crew fed during this crazy COVID-19 uh, pandemic. So thank you so much to those lovely people. And I also wanna thank all of you who are liking and subscribing and commenting and encouraging um, because it means the world to me. And I want you all to know that, that I love the love I'm getting. So thank you so much. Every name and like is noticed and appreciated. So thank you so much. Uh, today, we're gonna look at a frog. It's about dark time the frog lady shows you a frog, right? Let's go ahead and look at one of everyone's favorites. Puppet. The red-eyed tree frog. This is one of the most popular frogs in our culture because of this beautiful color and the fact that they are easy to get as pets. They breed well in captivity. Um, and they're also pretty common in their range. So red-eyed tree frogs come from uh, Central America, a little bit of Southern Mexico and Northern South America as well, but mostly Central American species. They like a tropical, very rainforest type um, frog. And uh, today we're gonna check them out a little closer. I'm going to show you my frog that I have had for years and years. Uh, she is at least seven, maybe eight years old now, which is pretty long for a frog. Frogs don't invest a lot of time and energy into longevity. They spend a lot of time into uh, breeding, okay? So I'm gonna have my cameraman uh, follow us over and I'll show you where Mandy lives. So this is uh, my red-eyed tree frog enclosure. Uh, this is a cage that's specifically made for tree frogs, which is really nice. Uh, you know, you want more of a vertical tank instead of horizontal when you're housing tree frogs because they like to be, uh, they like the height more than uh, length. So, um, do you see her? Does anyone see the frog? Sometimes you can look in her enclosure and you can't find her. Um, and that's true in, in a lot of my frogs' cages. Um, I like my frogs' cages to be very natural. Um, we call them terrariums. Lots of real plants. I do have some fake plants in here too for her, but I like as much real uh, live plants as I can get. I think it adds to the enclosure and I think the frogs appreciate it. They like what's, what's uh, natural. So, uh, Nick, can you get a tight end shot of where she's at? There we go. So there's Mandy sticking to the side of her cage. Now, she has very, very sticky toes. And those toes are keeping her attached to the glass. I'm gonna go ahead and get her out so we can see her a little bit uh, better in my hands and we'll talk about her then. Look at this beauty. Look at those big red eyes. So you can tell why they got the name Red Eye Tree Frog. Big, beautiful red eyes. When she's asleep, you cannot see any red at all. In fact, when her eyes are closed, her lids actually look like the veins on the back of a leaf. These frogs are camouflage experts. They take it to the next level. Um, so when she's sleeping, she's all closed up inside. Uh, all her colors are uh, nice and tight. They're inside. She, she closes up and looks just like a leaf. But when she's awake and open and moving like she is now, you're seeing a lot of really beautiful colors. What are those colors telling us? Telling us she's poisonous. Is she poisonous? No. She actually has no poison whatsoever. A harmless frog. Um, some frogs do have poison. Uh, their color is a warning to others that they are bad to eat. If you eat them, it can make you sick but um, she's just faking it. She's just copying. Uh, she has no poison whatsoever. So, uh, kind of the best of both worlds. You get a beautiful frog, but you can also handle it without any uh, worry of getting toxins on you. Now, before I pick up my frogs, I do use a spray bottle, uh, get my hands wet with uh, 
clean, safe water, no chlorine, so that uh, they don't absorb the chemicals on my hands. It's even better if you can, if you're gonna uh, look at your claw frog up close, is to put it on something. Now, look at that nice uh, belly shot there. Beautiful blue legs. Do you see her chin moving in and out? That chin is how she's getting her air. She does have nostrils. They can get air through their nose as well. But a lot of amphibians get their air through their skin. Um, and that, that, nice, uh, that nice, beautiful, moist, wet, slimy skin is there to help them, uh, to help them breathe. So um, because they absorb water through their skin, they absorb their oxygen through their skin, it also means that they can absorb chemicals through their skin that they don't want. So your hands have oils and, and salts and other chemicals. It's really best to leave, uh, leave your frog um, as little handled as possible, just because um, you really can get, give them a lot of uh, poisons from your own hands. It's almost like you're the poisonous one. All right. So, uh, what do frogs do um, as uh, babies? Well, tree frogs, uh, like the red-eyed tree frog, actually lay their eggs on leaves. The leaves um, are hanging right over the stream. Once these eggs hatch, and you can see these eggs here are getting um, more developed. Once it's hatching time, they plop right down into the water and go through their tadpole stages. Back legs are gonna come out uh, first, then front legs, and then the tail is absorbed. It doesn't fall off, nature doesn't waste. The tail shrinks and is absorbed by uh, the frog's body. So it's kind of like going on a diet. They actually absorb a lot of that food um, that during that time and they don't have to eat, so. Okay, well I hope you enjoyed the red-eyed tree frog. Um, I guess one more thing I got to put out there for my friend Tony. Uh, this frog, when it sings, sounds like you, uh, a lot like you, buddy. My friend Tony laughs like this. Ah, ah, ah. And that's what my frog does too. So um, she's a female. She's not singing. The boys are the ones who are singing. They're singing to the girls. Um, and it's during breeding season. So unfortunately, I don't ever hear her make the Tony sound. But if you want to look it up on a YouTube video, that's the sound they make. So I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I think uh, this uh, coming Friday, I just ordered a lot of insects and crickets, things that I love to feed to my critters. Um, so I think that will be our next video. I'm going to show you guys how uh, how you, <laughs> if you see a shaking, it's because my kid's playing with the bucket. <sighs> it's so hard to be calm here. Uh, anyway, um, I'll see you guys on Friday with some bugs. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye.